That's uh, Sue Ann Levy and asking the money question. <laughs> so um, so the, 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 um, this project was funded entirely by the Wellesley uh, Institute, which is a not-for-profit uh, uh, community-based uh, foundation uh, based uh, here in uh, Toronto. Um, I don't have an exact uh, number in terms of uh, the uh, expenses that we put into it, but um, uh, I could uh, ballpark it by uh, saying that uh, we probably uh, spent fifty, sixty thousand uh, um, dollars, uh, not including uh, the staff costs and uh, uh, and so on, in terms of research, in terms of uh, uh, some of the production and uh, that type of thing. On your question of um, of uh, new supply, uh, on page eight of the uh, the blueprint, uh, there is um, a. Uh, a chart which sets out the target in each of the uh, key categories, uh, the capital or operating dollars, uh, and then uh, it also uh, breaks down uh, uh, where that money would uh, come from. The total amount uh, for all of the uh, both supply and affordability measures uh, on an annual basis is 585 in capital and 252 in operating, of which is, as you can see, there's already a significant amount committed in existing budget lines. Uh, so it's simply a question of uh, more efficiently using existing budget lines. This is an annual basis. So this, so this, this in for 10 years. We think 10 years, uh, this is based on a 10 year uh, program at that point, obviously, or, or before then, uh, there would be, uh, uh, it would be important to uh, assess, um, look at um, how much has actually been developed. Is it uh, achieving uh, the goal of um, uh, housing the people uh, that uh, need the housing the most? Earlier on, Bonnie mentioned New York City, and New York City has, in fact, developed tens of thousands of new homes in the since uh, uh, 2002, but uh, many of those homes are out of reach of the people that need them the most, and that's part of... So, so Sue Ann, the, the, um, there would need to be an uh, ongoing uh, assessment of uh, what's done. And that's a role the Wellesley is uh, committed to continuing to play. We're, we're not simply here to release a report and then go away. Uh, our report is not geared to November 13th, which is Municipal Election Day, but it's November 14th, the day after, to working with Council to make, uh, uh, to make this a reality.